Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a camera comparison between the brand new P50 Pro against the Mate 40 Pro. So which one is better? You decide and let's get started. This is now the super wide angle cine camera on the Mate 40 Pro. This is the high dynamic range and the colors that you can expect and the stabilization. For stabilization I will go up uh, some stairs here. It has a fairly wide of field of view but it's not as wide as on the P50 Pro as you will see in a second. And it is a um, very large sensor with RYYB color filter array which will help in darker situations of course and stabilization is pretty nice and even if you record uh, right now with the ultra wide angle you can switch to the main lens which I will demonstrate you right now so let's go here and uh, now it should be the main lens and now it's the main lens and the main lens has this nice creamy bokeh behind me that you can hopefully see and my face in focus it's using a very large also RYYB sensor 50 megapixel 1 over 1.23 inch size sensor I think this is one of the top three largest sensors that you can find in a smartphone so very very good and yeah large sensor and it is indeed the same sensor that you will find on the P50 Pro so let's try out the P50 Pro to see if there's any difference this is now the P50 Pro and the main camera lens because it doesn't have any cine lens anymore so it's using the main camera lens for video which has this nice background blur and tell me in the comments if you see any difference to the Mate 40 Pro's processing of the same sensor because it is only processing it's using even the same chipset as I'm using the Kirin processor on my P50 Pro here as well and this is what you can expect in terms of background blur and colors and stabilization as well and the neat little trick i can also go to the ultra wide angle which is a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle and you will see in a second it has a much wider field of view so let's just do it right now so i can quickly go to the wide wide angle and the ultra wide angle is so much wider than on the Mate 40 Pro that it is almost yeah, incredible how they did it. I have the slight yeah, idea that maybe they reduced the size of the sensor a little bit but I'm not so sure because it's no, there's no official data and I'm not sure how to get it without opening the device itself which I don't really want to do. So I cannot tell you anything about the sensor size or if it's using RYYB as uh, the color filter array to gain more light or if it is using the 40 megapixel um, yeah, monochrome sensor on the P50 Pro to get the more in terms of details in darker conditions. So this is the ultra wide angle on the P50 Pro and in terms of video stabilization, colors and even in this darker situations where I went up the hill there, which one has the better video camera system? Write it down in the comment section. For a good vlogging camera the smartphone also needs to have a very good selfie cam and I'm using the Mate 40 Pro's selfie cam right now in its default configuration which is 0.8 times magnification so it can get wider to uh, let's click it here uh, to 0.6 times I think it is and I can also go closer up to one time which will look like this but what this camera lacks is autofocus so if I want to put uh, something like this a photo that I shot and put it very very close I'm not sure if it is really focusing I think it is not focusing I'm sharp this is not sharp so it hasn't got autofocus on the um, Mate 40 Pro's front camera anyway you still have the flexibility to go into a bit of a wider field of view which is also pretty cool and I think stabilization is also nice colors are nice and of course the microphone quality that you can get for daylight vlogging purposes why not uh, let's see how the p50 pro scopes and uh, compares to this one here what we can see here is 
the P50 Pro's uh, front-facing selfie cam in its also 0.8 magnification and I can go to the white one which is approximately also 0.6 times so approximately as wide as the Mate 40 Pro's selfie cam and I also can go to one times which looks like this which is a lot more cropped in I think than on the Mate 40 Pro and for vlogging uh, maybe not the best this one is I think better for vlogging and again I can use my microphone you can see HDR is kind of working stabilization hopefully working a little bit better than on the Mate 40 Pro because uh, I don't like the selfie cam of the Mate 30 Pro too much when it comes to stabilization because it's not as stable as I would expect it but one very large significant advantage of the P50 Pro's selfie cam is that it has autofocus so if I want to show you a nice sample picture on my Mate 40 Pro I can do so as you can see it is now yeah, sharpening up and it should have now the focus point set to the uh, phone is it doing the sharpening stuff or it's focusing on me Ah, now it is focusing as you can see so it is focusing it has a focusing option which is nice and you can focus very very close even so this is why I tried this uh, close-up shot of my phone so if I go very very close it should be able to focus on it very very close even it has like a few centimeters only focusing distance so this should work fine uh, so this is why I think the in terms of selfie cam even though we don't have this uh, 3D uh, sensing stuff here on the top of the Mate 40 Pro we have a nice um, selfie cam as well 13 megapixels uh, the same resolution as on the Mate 40 Pro what do you think about it write it down in the comment section and what I will do right now is even if it's a bit of a cloudy day not so much sun outside I will do a bit of photographing and will take my Mate 40 Pro's main camera to test and do some comparisons with the P50 Pro's. So let's take a look. So now to the photos. On the left we can see the Mate 40 Pro and on the right we can see the P50. When it comes to normal shots taken with the main camera lens and the main sensor you don't notice much of a difference. You can see that the Mate 40 Pro maybe has a more creamy nicer bokeh here but this also only depends on because it was like focusing on this here and on the P50 Pro I had a slightly different angle and it was focusing here instead of here and so you get a slightly different kind of uh, picture with less creamy bokeh as you can see right here. When we take a look at other pictures just like for example in general color rendition the P50 Pro has the better color rendition system because it has a special sensor for sensing colors and correcting the colors. So what you can see here we have a yellow tint on the Mate 40 Pro and this is in fact also due to the RYYB sensor used a lot of times in the Mate 40 Pro so most of the time you're using the ultra wide or the main lens and then the RYYB sensor will be used and I think also the zoom lens has RYYB so it has a yellowish tint to it because there are more yellowish sensors or pixel um, in the color array so it is more yellowish on the P50 we still have the RYYB sensors but we have a color correction sensor as well that corrects the color of the sky as you can see here it is blue bluer than this yeah greenish kind of tone that you get and the same you get overall as well in the bricks which are more yellowish here and more true to life here when we take a look at the um, sign here you can also see that there's either a lot of more sharpening applied on the p50 pro or in general it is a sharper picture because it's clearly more visible clearly more readable this is at 100 we can just go in a bit and you can see this now at 280 something percent you can see that there is clearly more detail as well 
visible in this text it's more clear in general so this is pretty cool as i would say and uh, yeah in general very very similar you have to search for the differences as like i said they have the same sensor only the uh, color processing and the additional sensor on the p50 pro is helping when it comes to zoom shots i did a zoom comparison already also including the mate 40 pro versus the p50 pro they can of course take a look at in more detail but here i did a 3.5 times zoom a 3.5 times zoom it's digitally on the mate 40 pro it's optically on the p50 pro so it's clearly uh, the winner here but the mate 40 pro is not far off as you can see here. it's wonderful both uh, shoot wonderful pictures in 3.5 times zoom and the same goes for five times zoom there's a dedicated five times hybrid zoom option on the mate 40 pro that works wonders and as you can see it looks also pretty cool and pretty good the only difference is here again the p50 pro has a bit of a sharper lens or a bit of sharpening applied through technology using the macro lens uh, using no the the monochrome lens i mean here to add more details into the frame what we can see is also a uh, color shift again we have more yellowish color here on the left but also a more brighter picture on the left and on the right it's more true to life more realistic in this case as well because the brickwork is a bit uh, yeah a bit darker when it comes to macro shots there's a very interesting thing here that appears we can see we have much more bokeh on the left we have a bit of different colors as well on the left this simply means that in macro mode it is switching from the main lens to the ultra wide angle lens automatically if you have ai enabled and the um, macro lens or the ultra wide angle lens is has a much brighter bigger sensor i th think on the mate 40 pro this creates this bokeh effect but also a more narrow field of view and you get like super super detailed crisp details here and it looks very natural as well of the the, the the leaves here and the little droplets on the leaf and when we take a look at the p50 pro it's not so impressive i have to say of course we have now the droplets in the front also sharp this could mean we have either a smaller aperture or a smaller sensor but in general what we have is a larger field of view with um, that we can see at the end as well but here in the macro shots that clearly makes it like not so yeah fantastic in this case and you can see also sharpening is heavily applied here it doesn't look as natural these little hairs here on the leaf doesn't look at, as natural as on the mate 40 pro so when it comes to those uh, automatically kicking in macro shots i would say the mate 40 pro has an edge here definitely over the p50 pro when it comes to capturing fast moving subjects with the zoom lens it's always a problem and it has historically always been a problem on huawei devices because they have some kind of shutter lag that is always there and in this case a quick snapshot in automatic mode from a b or of a b you can see the b is not sharp at all you can see that it's probably a b but it's not sharp at all i'm not sure maybe the background here is sharp but it is hard to do it's almost impossible to do especially if you zoomed in in one times zooming mode or in one times um, lens it is possible sometimes not always but it's not for sports shots the p50 pro claims to have a faster autofocusing system so i took it to a test and i have to say i'm not 100 percent convinced but it is faster you can see here that i managed to capture the bee here with the slight little hair that you can see around the flower and the bee is just collecting the uh, what what is it uh, the the dust of the um, of the flowers the pollen of the flowers and you can see the little details here it is of course uh, this is three point I think five times zoom digitally or optically uh, hybrid digital optic hybrid the five times zoom option on the Mate 40 Pro the first zoom option basically that you can go into on the Mate 40 Pro and I use this first zoom option as well on the um p50 pro and as you can see here it uh, managed to capture something that you can 
clearly say it is definitely better and it nailed the focus definitely a bit better so the p50 pro has some improvements but it's not groundbreaking improvements i would say but it is definitely there so if you have fast moving subjects that you want to photograph in zoom mode uh, definitely the p50 pro has an edge here also when it comes to zoom modes like 10 times zoom i know i made a zoom test and you can take a look at this in one of the cards that will appear probably uh, or one of the last videos that the mate 40 pro and the p50 pro are not so far um, away from each other but now in nature we can see here the difference of 10 times zoom you can be without zooming in you can clearly see that there seems to be a lot more sharper on the p50 pro and if i zoom in you can see there's a haze some kind of haze uh, going on on the mate 40 pro and it's not so sharp even if it wouldn't have this haze it is not so sharp now what is this sharpness if i see here this flower it looks a bit we compare it here to where is this flower um oh it's hidden here okay we cannot see it but it is it looks a bit over processed here details are a bit lacking it's getting like into a color mishmash that you can also see here as well and uh, the colors are more natural on the p50 pro thanks to the dedicated color sensor so it is more orange than yellowish the flower that's definitely the case especially in this uh, yeah, part shadow that we had here as well and uh, what we can see here as as well the combination of different sensors so the monochrome sensor is definitely used for creating more details to put more details into the frame here as well then this haze uh, we can come later to why there might be a haze that might distract a little bit and might yeah somehow change the picture into a bit of worse uh, picture but even without the haze the details are still um, lacking and we have uh, a clearer shot with the p50 pro so 10 times zoom you get a better shot with the p50 pro when it comes to zoom shots with um, fast moving subjects i had some uh, bunnies here as well in the park running around and i tried my best to get a clear shot with the mate uh, 30 the mate 40 pro and it didn't really work out i used i think it was five times shot five times digital shot on both and what we can see here is this is the best i got where they are somehow sharp and you can see i have managed to catch three but you can see the quality is not as breathtaking as the uh, five times digital one on the p50 pro that worked a lot better what i have to say here is i took a manual shot in pro mode because what i wanted to do is avoid this shutter lag by setting a shutter speed manually to avoid the shutter lag that i usually get with the auto mode to see if this works it works a lot better on the mate 40 pro i have to say because you can get subjects or objects uh, clearer at least and it works a treat also improving a tiny little bit on the yeah improvements already on the p50 pro when it comes to moving subjects in the zoom lens we can see that this uh, rabbit or this bunny uh, is a really really uh, good captured first of all i managed to get closer there was only one left one who was uh, kind enough to let himself photograph and this was like during he wanted to jump away he was jumping so this was when he was jumping not standing still or something like this so he was jumping and i managed to catch a shot but again there is a shutter lag on the um, uh, p50 pro again there is a shutter lag just like on the mate 40 pro but it is not as big as on the mate 40 pro so this helped me to get this shot clear and of course because of all the other information of other different lenses that are put together i got a pretty good shot i think on this uh, bunny here and uh, the next shot i want to explain a little bit about hdr i want to check out if hdr is the same it's nearly the same you can see this uh, is there a difference when there is a difference it's a slight difference but what you can see here is a small haze there's also a small haze but if you go here to the tree you can see it a bit more and one thing that could be the issue with my mate 40 pro is that i have the back glass of the lenses that has a cut 
and this cut in certain light conditions can create a haze so this explains also maybe the haze that I had when uh, taking the macro shot that can explain them uh, but usually you don't notice this as much in taking photos and just I wanted to say it so that if you have different experiences with your Mate 40 Pro it might be that it is exactly behaving the same as the P50 Pro when it comes to dynamic range high dynamic range you can see maybe slightly better on the P50 Pro in dynamic range high dynamic range but it's really really very slightly only subtle change and it could be also because of the uh, glass that is used in front of the lens um, so this is basically what I wanted to say about high dynamic range. High dynamic range is great, wonderful, no issues at all. Let's compare the ultra wide angle lenses. Um, yeah, on the left hand we can say it is not really ultra wide. It is the cine lens and uh, maybe we shouldn't call it ultra wide angle because it is a fairly limited field of view that we have with 18 millimeters. But it is a wild angle wide angle already and on the uh, right side on the p50 pro we definitely have an ultra wide angle with 13 millimeters a uh, field of view and can see the difference here same spot uh, same daylight we can see a color shift again uh, th which leads me to the conclusion that there's a different sensor in use as well so you can see it's more yellowish here uh, Again, I think it is also using the color sensor, the special color sensor. So this is why the colors here are more realistic, uh, to be honest, because here you can see it also has this one, but the rest is a bit cooled down. And uh, yeah, not sure why that is, but you can see also here, uh, yeah, the details. Uh, when we take a look at the details, clearly the winner is the Mate 40 Pro, which simply has something to do with less field of view, less wide field of view, which is the first thing. The other thing is like it has 20 megapixel uh, wide angle and the 13 megapixel wide angle here on the P50 Pro is yeah also a difference. Uh, less megapixels, less uh, things uh, to yeah, have details. Uh, basically, you can see this here also in the wood. Uh, that uh, you can see much more details on the Mate 40 Pro. And let's take a look at the last photo to see again um, the change in ultra wide angle, both from the same distance. And you can see here is just the wall, and here you can see above the wall, even the roof, and a lot more left and right of this uh, graffiti wall. And when we zoom in, you can see, yeah, there is some details visible here, and it's a good. A 13 megapixel ultra wide angle that the p50 pro has but of course nothing beats the uh, very very good and sharp uh, details of the mate 40 pro when it comes to the ultra wide angle simply because the field of view is not so wide and because the megapixels are a lot more and you can see a lot more details in the brickwork here of an, of the mate 40 pro so this is the main difference in terms of photography and yeah this uh, these are all photos that i took with the p50 and the mate 40 pro so this is everything for the comparison of the uh, mate 40 pro against the p50 pro which of those devices is the clear winner write it down in the comment section both devices in my opinion are very very good when it comes to taking photos i think the p50 pro has a slight edge against the Mate 40 Pro but it is really neck to neck and I think in terms of video with the CineLens you still have a better quality on the Mate 40 Pro. What do you think? Write it down in the comment section. If you like this video give it a like, share and subscribe. I'm almost reaching 5,000 subscribers and with 5,000 subscribers I can reach out to companies to send me sample devices which is pretty cool and awesome. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye